I'm in Istanbul, and I'm here to explore one of the great food cultures of the world. The city's immensely proud of its so-called weirdness, its creative, original character. In fact, there's even a motto here, keep Austin weird. I guess what you're essentially doing is yes. rebuilding oh, yeah. that community. Yeah, community. People appreciate because it brings them back to where they are. So this is how you dice your onions? Like this onions. is how we dice them in Ireland, okay? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That is a mighty fish. I want to show people how interesting the food in Lisbon is, how interestingly we eat. Second bite was even worse. <laughs> so it looks like we finally found a safer spot, but we're rushing against the lights. The sun's about to go down. Oh my god, amazing! These are huge. I just think they're kind of beautiful. I've been roped in. To competing, and I'm absolutely terrified. He's a little bit feisty today, I would say. Doesn't like being on TV, he just bit me. <laughs> I get a lot of people asking me, Where did you study? and we want to be like you, and, and uh, women, women, and people supporting them their husbands, their brothers. We make a good team. We do. It's like silk. <laughs> Various artists are gathering for the Coming Home Art and the Great Hunger exhibition. Tonight, they're performing at an old famine workhouse in Skibbereen. It's been a great adventure exploring the West Cork food scene, but it makes tonight all the more poignant being here on land which was once ground zero of the famine. So I think I've got what they call gold fever, and I'm off to find a stream to see if I can pan for some out here. What's wonderful about go panning is you can have all the excitement and the rivalry and the noise, the competition. And then you can come out here. And it's just you, the river, and hopefully a few flakes of gold. <laughs> <laughs> 